from me, you bald motherfucker! Tharu's peace upon you. We have many gems and shards for sale. Oh! <laughs> 
Logris. You surprised me. What are you doing down here? I see my Jotun have failed at their orders. But did Padaxes send you? Lysander, perhaps? Tell me! Those fools have no idea what I'm capable of. Which is obvious if you're all they sent to stop me. You act as though you're surprised to find me here. As if you weren't sent here to stop me. My pursuit. But you're too late. Even now my deathless servants rise from centuries of slumber. It is clear I cannot let you live. But answer me this and I'll grant you a swift death. Which one sent you? Was it Padaxis or Lysander? Fine. Whether you're an agent of the Rose Court or the Onyx Tower, you can take your secret to the grave. My spell commands untold legions. Soon, both of their houses will crumble. You, however, will not live to see their ruin. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
ask me, that witch across the lakes had a hand. You're back. Glad to see you made her out of there alive. We felt the earth shake, and when you hadn't returned. But no matter. Our town is forever in your debt. Please, take this. It's not much after all you've done, but we would like you to have it. The Boggarts will always trouble Dyden Hill. As long as we can keep a supply of Plague Shield, we'll survive this malady. Disgusting little fey vermin. We're all glad to be rid of them. More ruins beneath the caverns, you say? I wonder who was there before the Boggarts moved in. Well, we've weathered this storm. Pray Mitharu we weather the next. I hope that's the last I see of those brutes in Dyden Hill. Or anywhere for that matter. The town gets healthier by the day. Now that those little beasts are back in their den. Dead, I'm afraid. Got the blood plague and wouldn't rest. I feel for his brother and sister. Mitharu keep you. I don't know how you survived, but I am glad you did. Thanks to you, there hasn't been an attack in a while now. Mitharu keep you. I have full faith in Kester. I Just what do you think you're doing poking around this jail? The Boggarts caused it, sure. But what caused the Boggarts? That witch, Luminitsa. That's what I think. It's always one thing or another. Boggarts, bandits, weather. But we're not frail people. We get through it. Trust me, we've got enough troubles with the blood plague and all that. We don't go tossing people in there unless we've got to. The damned Fate Weaver. She lives right over there, on this cursed side of the lake. I'm the Jailer. What do I look like?
so Brother Fallon is dead? And I thought things were bad as they could get. This means Astrid will run out of Plague Shield sooner or later. I'm able to supply it. The village has not always been kind to me, but never mind that. This will be my olive branch. So, you know that Laos, do you? I've known him for quite some time now, before fate weaving was dreary business. Good old Agarth. He warned me what too much truth can do. I wish I'd listened closer. He was a good man and a friend. He was kind after the village shut their doors to me, and taught me much of what I know. It's the strangest thing. The cards were hers last, so I glimpsed her fate when I took them from you. And that fate is not what it was. She will die of old age. Somehow that's changed. Sadly, I have not been welcome across the lake for a long time. When I first arrived here, I gave fortunes to several villagers. The fates were... not happy ones. Of course, until I drew their cards, I had no idea. They blamed me and cut off ties. It's not witchcraft like the townsfolk believe. It's simply reading the threads of fate, and some people can't come to terms with it. Unlike most, I started when I was a mere slip of a girl. You see, my mother told fates, and I learned sitting on her knee. Farewell. Make yourself at home. So long.